Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Nina here with your first news round of the week. Stick with us for all of this. We're going to check out some of the biggest films coming out this year. See the moment the sea turtle was released back into the ocean. And the animals enjoying the snow in this week's happy news. First, where else can we start but with the weather? After Storm Isha has caused disruption across the UK overnight with strong winds and heavy rain. Tens of thousands of people are without power across Wales, Northern Ireland and North West England because of fallen trees and damage to power lines. It's also caused travel issues for people with many trains and flights being cancelled. People are being warned to be particularly careful near coastal areas because of the risk of flying debris. A yellow warning for wind is in place across the UK until midday today. Meanwhile, there's also been extreme weather in the US with freezing rain and winter storms leading to Arctic temperatures and heavy snow across the country. Stay safe out there, guys, wherever you are. Next, with all this wintry weather around you, you might be tempted to stay inside and snuggle up with a film. So what can we look forward to? Well, Shaniqua's got the lowdown on some of the big blockbuster films coming out this year. Ah, comfy seat, massive screen. All I need is a film expert to guide me through. Oh, hey, Ali. Hey, Shaniqua, how's it going? That well, was very quick. Well, I brought you here because I know you're a bit of a film buff and I want to know all of the big movies that are set to come out this year. Can help, will help. Yes. So, the bad news first, we had a strike with writers and actors last year, delayed a few things, but mm. right now, big movies on the way and let's kick things off with the highly anticipated animated Garfield. Ooh. You want a little more? The legendary comic strip that started in 1978 is being made into a new movie and it's set to come out in spring. And that's how I adopted John. <laughs> the world famous cat who hates Mondays and loves to eat lasagna will be off on another wild adventure and it happens to star one Chris Pratt who you might know and love from the Super Mario Bros movie. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. What else have you got? This is a big one for me. It's a big one for everybody. It is Inside Out 2, oh, yes. and it's coming out in the summer. Oh. Our little girl's growing up so fast. And things couldn't be better. <laughs> Somehow, it's been nine years since the first Inside Out, and this sequel is heavily anticipated because new emotions have entered the scene. We welcome embarrassment on we and envy. Lovely. Now, a little birdie told me that a huge pop star is starring in a movie this year. Yes, her name is Ariana Grande mm -hmm. and she's in the new Wicked movie. Let's take a look. Oh. It started as a book, but then became famous as a stage musical, hence Ariana. And now it's heading to the big screen and we'll get to see how Elphaba became the Wicked Witch of the West. They're still filming it, I believe, at the moment, but it should be out in time later on in a year. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that one. Have you got anything else? Yes, this is another animated Super Soraway Spectacular. It's Kung Fu Panda, and he's back for his fourth movie. The Chameleon. I'm going to lead you right to her front door. Yeah! This one is coming out in spring, and we'll see Poe facing new challenges in China. Oh, there's so much to look forward to this year. Thank you, Ali. But you can go now because I'm going to start watching the films. Bye. Now, I, I'm going to start. I want to watch as well. Oh, I guess so. Just be quiet. Thank you, Shanikra and Ali. Next, we've got a royal treat for you. A collection of objects from a special house has gone on display to mark 100 years since it was built. But all is not as it seems. <laughs> With all its grand rooms, fancy furniture and super detailed works of art, this is most definitely a home fit for royalty. However, if you look closely, you may notice one small thing. It's actually a doll's house. The miniature mansion, which was built between 1921 and 1924 for Queen Mary, is a copy of an Edwardian home. It's believed to be the largest and most famous doll's house in the world and took more than 1,500 artists, craftspeople and manufacturers to complete. 
The doll's house is full of tiny treasures, including a grand piano, vacuum cleaner, and a scaled down version of the famous crown jewels. It even has electricity and running water. Some of the items from the doll's house are now on display at Windsor Castle in Berkshire to mark the 100th anniversary of its creation, and visitors will be able to see them throughout 2024. And you can find out more about that collection over on the Newsround website. And while you're there, why not check out this super rare armour in Scotland, which is nearly 2,000 years old. And have you been watching the new series of Gladiators? Well, we want to know who is your favourite gladiator. Diamond is leading the vote, but why not have your say? And we've got a guide to the planned job losses at the steelworks in the Welsh town of Port Talbot, explaining who is affected and why they're happening. Some good news next. A wonderful moment was captured as a sea turtle was released back into the water. The adult loggerhead became tangled in a fishing net in Florida in the US. It was spotted by someone walking on the beach who managed to alert a team of rescuers. They checked her over and shortly after she was encouraged to go back into the sea. Well, let's continue with the positive vibes. Ricky brings us happy to start the week. Take it away, Ricky. <laughs> So we start this week with people getting their pets blessed at a church in Mexico. The blessing ceremony is to mark the feast day of Saint Anthony, who is known as the protector of animals. Pet owners arrive with their beloved animals, including dogs, cats and even a horse, for a sprinkling of holy water to protect them from danger and misfortune. OK, sticking with animals, look at this polar bear enjoying the snow at a zoo in the United States. The zookeeper captured it when the country had a huge downfall last week. And it's not just in zoos. Here a home security camera shows otters making snow angels in someone's back garden. Mm, a bit chilly for me that one. Last up, I just had to show you this new fancy art centre that just opened up in Uruguay. The idea is to allow people to be as creative as they want. I mean, just look at this funky looking football goal that someone has created. You can go and stay there too and relax in the gardens that are full of artwork to look at. Looks pretty blissful to me. Thanks, Ricky. Well, that's all we've got time for today. But join us again tomorrow for all the latest. Have a fantastic Monday and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>